You already know that the menu tree on the left-hand side of the Food Menu Designer Endpoint of Success can be used to navigate to different parts of the menu, but it has some other uses as well. To access the menu tree, press F9 to go to Run Mode, and now the menu tree is not gray, so we can move it around. You'll notice two sections at the bottom of the menu tree, the Inactive Menu and the Recycle Bin. The Inactive Menu can be used if an item that is for sale is no longer for sale, uh, or when an item is being added to the menu and you don't want it available yet on the order entry screen to be ordered. So we can move those items to the inactive menu. To do so, let's uh, say for example that we wanted to move the steak dinner to the inactive menu. Click it, drag it, and drop it on the inactive menu. And then choose move item from this context menu. And now if we go to the inactive menu screen, our steak dinner is there. If we go back up to the food menu, our steak dinner is now gone. Now you can move items out of the inactive menu back to the active menu by dragging and dropping them. And since this menu tree does not scroll automatically, you can click the X, uh, I'm sorry, the plus or the minus to the left of each menu item. So we can show the menu tree in a collapsed mode so it's smaller. Then if we want to move the steak dinner back to the active menu, click and drag it and drop it on the food menu and say move item. Now if we go back to food menu, you can see that our steak dinner button is back. You can do the same thing with deleting items from the menu. To delete an item, you press F9 to go to the design mode, click the button you want to delete, and then press the delete key. Say yes to move it to the recycle bin, and then we press F9 again, you can go to the recycle bin and see that it has the steak dinner button in it. To restore the steak dinner back to the menu, again, let's collapse the menu by clicking the minus to the left of each of these items, and then we can click and drag the steak dinner button back to the food menu and say move item, and we go back to the food menu, and now our steak dinner is back on the active menu. So you can move things between sections of the menu. Let's say that you wanted uh, on the soup menu, you wanted to also have a dinner salad button. The dinner salad button can be copied to this menu by going to the top of the food menu and then select dinner salad and you drag it down and drop it on soup and say copy item and so now when we go back to the food menu and then go to the soup sub menu we now have a dinner salad button on there and we can press F9 and drag that button into place and now we have a dinner salad button on the soup menu and if we go back to the top, also on the food menu. So there's our dinner salad button. That's how you can move and copy buttons and even entire sections of the menu tree to another location.